Yo, collect and connect with Blake and Chad. Chad and Blake. Collect and connect. Blake and Chad's collect and connect. This is Luke Chu. Dave Wrestler. Blake and Chad's. This is Blake and Chad's. This is Collect and Connect. It's different. It's very progressive, uh, but so like New York, it's just kind of hard to find some street art in the midst of all that graffiti, you know. So it wasn't my first like point of uh, you know attention, you know. Um, but and then when I came to Winwood for the first time and I decided that I wanted to move here, um, like I was just like, okay, time to start drawing some characters, and I came up. I, well, I circled back to uh, to Ego and then, like, developed him maybe, like, nice. when I was, like, 22. Nice, nice. So now that you've developed him, that's your main character, your Ego, and, uh, you know, every time you go somewhere, this is your brand, right? Yeah, and Ego, you know, like, he's the monster in your head. Yeah. Uh, so... <laughs> It's funny because when I when people buy you know paintings a lot, they don't know what they're buying. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was reading into what your your you know how you develop these characters. I mean, you're more. It looks like you love the spirituality. You love to to connect and you know that type of energy out there. So, like, what do these arrows mean? Well, the ego actually can point you in all different directions. It just keeps you going in all different directions, sometimes in a loop. Um, and this, this piece really is about mastery. It's about learning about your ego, uh, seeing the directions that it's trying to point you in, but not going those directions, and instead going forward in your truth. So, in the eye, like you can see the experiences coming out through a lot of your work. You can tell from, you know, the way that you're developing them and the characters and everything that's within them. Well, I, I also can, uh, you know, expand on ego a little bit more, right? Yeah. Sure. Of course. I'm just so passionate about ego because I had a lot of struggle um, growing up and even in recent times, like up until this point with ego. Um, because this chatterbox, you know, it can be very intelligent, you know? So, I mean, I felt like the only way, um, to express myself was, uh, by painting ego and, and by painting ego, maybe like kind of personifying it, making, um, you know, fear like friendly in a way and like your friend, and then everything else um, kind of syn synchronized around it where like, um, you know, the flowers, they represent positive thoughts. So, you know, when you like put positive thoughts around your ego, then you kind of calm your ego down. And then, right. and then like, you know, this piece right here is about like the shattering of your ego, but I wouldn't have been able to shatter the ego if it wasn't for my heart and the star and also like you know my other characters like the the star represents yeah. when you do what you love then you can fly and then the heart is all about like seeing with love that's why it has eyes it's, be, it's about like seeing with love and compassion and everything um you know so like all those characters together balance the ego love that yeah. philosophy yeah man. definitely yeah, it's our, a, our it's brain and our egos tear us apart man those those people inside our heads tell us not to do that little thing and it stops you that second but like you said you got to break through that fear factor i think and and get through that comfortable zone and i think man once you can do that you definitely just go full force on your projects right and then there's also big teeth too which is like ego but with big teeth 
And uh, we all need a little bit of big teeth, but big teeth is just a reminder just to slow down and not to bite off too much because like um, the name of the game um, is like slow and steady. Yeah. So uh, this is just <laughs> like, you know, an example, you know, I mean, there's 10 different color waves. Nice. Of this. That has ego. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Is that, awesome. is that an OG, like one of the OGs, or how are you going to be uh, sort of in the process of that? Or, Well, I mean, like anything I ever do, I never do it again. Ah, okay. Pretty much, like it's a, I'm all about evolution and progression. So like, you know, oh, cool. I created that on that day, then that's what I <laughs> You're freestyling, yeah? This is awesome, bro. And I'll pull back, you know, from my past and then, you know, maybe recreate something, you know, here and there. But uh, this one I just chose just because I really like that design. And I mean, that'll just be, that's just one of, you know, 10 different colors, you know, every color. So Heck yeah, every primary color for sure. And I'm kind of just waiting to, to find the right platform to release that. And it resembles the shattering of your ego. So, like, what is the ego? It's this, you know, voice in our mind telling us that we can't, you know, amount to our dreams. It's, it's telling us, uh, you know, to be afraid, right? To fear a lot of different things. And I believe that if I can, you know, show people and teach people about their ego, I think it's going to make the world a little bit better of a place.